Good afternoon, and welcome to, uh, Turtle Slide Design technically part two, but also technically part one, because I screwed it up last night. I didn't have the subscription renewed in time, so, um, <sighs> well, I lost the whole design, so the video from last night... Uh, did not save. So, there's none of that design. So, I'm gonna be 
redoing that design, and then I'll probably also get to the slide and the stair portion. So, yeah. Uh, looks like the one viewer I had who left probably thought I was playing a game with turtles in it. Um, eventually, I will have a turtle cam. Um, I don't have a camera that I can use specifically for a turtle cam during the daytime. Um, I plan to have a camera that I just switch between my animals. So, tortoise cam in the, in the daytime and uh, gecko cam at nighttime because uh, my leopard gecko is diurnal. And actually, because she's so young, she's still pretty nocturnal. Um, yeah. So, yeah, eventually we will have a, cam uh, a turtle cam and a gecko cam. Please close the unnecessary tabs for me. I would like the other tab closed, please. I can show off the uh, phone cases that I've 3D modeled in the past. I can't show you the final product because I didn't take a picture of most of those, and um, they've broken since, but I can show you the model of them once the extra tab closes. Or actually I'll just show it in uh... <laughs> Yeah, so I was on a robotics team for seven seasons. So I did seven seasons of robotics. Uh, so that's what the ferret phone case is. It's not a picture of a ferret. It is a phone case with the robotics team logo on it. So I was part of the cyborg ferrets in our most successful years. Let's see. Frog phone case. That's another cute one. That one is... I believe it's a tree frog? If I, yeah, it's a tree frog. So, I don't remember if I ever actually printed that. I could have sworn that I did. I think I did, because that, that, uh, somebody commented on that specifically at one point. Um, I don't know why I can't see the frog lines. So this may be an older version of the phone. Um, it also may be that I had, I, I did two frog cases, and this is the wrong one. Um, hard to say, it's been a long time. Um, one time, one of my friends made a painting for me, and I turned that into a phone case. Um, I always, I really liked that one. Yeah, so what I did there is I traced one of the mo uh, one of the more um, busy parts of the painting. I took a picture and traced it in CAD, and then I also traced her signature and put the signature in the corner. And I thought that that was fun, so that you can see there's a little bird there, and there's a tree, and there was mountains in the background, and it was kind of like a sunset. It was a lot of reds and purples, and it was just really pretty. Um, I still have that painting. It's over. The, it's over on my shelf somewhere, but I'm not gonna go get it right now. I also did one that was the night sky. Um, let's see if that'll. Yeah, it did load. Cool. Yep, looks like this. This one was another really pretty one, but it broke real quick because I am prone to dropping my phone. I believe this one dropped in the garage and that's why it broke. Um, that one's just the base. This is the 
first one that I did, the phone case hex tiles. Yeah, so this is the first one that I did. And you can see there's a bit of an extra gap here. It's even more pronounced when you actually print it, but I never went through and fixed it, and I never really cared all that much. But the way you can tell it's an older design is that there's no bar across here. It just goes up, and that's it. And that made it less sturdy, so it broke faster. Um, I never did the trees phone case, but I did do the skull. Um, let's see. What is that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it was a skull, and then kind of just could put stripes behind it. Uh, I did a pride flag behind it. So those are the phone cases that I've made. Now I'm going to get into the actual turtle slide design. I'm gonna do new design and then close that just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna start by naming it so that this way it'll auto save. So this is going to be turtle slide hide. And I'm gonna store this in a folder that I... actually I don't think I can store it in that. Oh yeah, I have some other folders. What's in there? Oh wow. I have a lot of really good stuff in there. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. I'm gonna save it in there, because that is a better folder. Okay, let's go ahead and get this on the road, get it started. And actually, I could design this whole thing in the same fi in the same um same file if I wanted to, and I may I may actually do that. Um and the way you kind of do that is you um instead of cr just creating a sketch, you add a part and then everything else is a new part. So, I'm going to start this pl on the XY plane. Top down, please, because I am used to modeling in Inventor. I'm just gonna do square. Come on. There we go. It's actually gonna be a rectangle. <laughs> I'm gonna do constructor lines, midpoint, to midpoint and then midpoint to midpoint and you can see the little triangle there that means it's at the midpoint and I hit X on my keyboard to make it a constructor line so it's not going so when I hover over it it's not going to block this off and make it harder to extrude and so I want this line to be midpoint with the origin so I'm going to right click and go midpoint. And because that line is midpoint, I actually really don't need this line. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So I don't need it since these are midpoint on the side of the rectangle. So regardless of how tall I make the rectangle, it'll always be centered. Same thing with this direction. And yeah, no matter what I do to this rectangle, it's going to stay centered. So now I'm going to add some uh, more constraints. So I want this line, I want this side to be approximately four inches, but it's in millimeters. So I'm gonna come over here and do four inches. So that's about a hundred millimeters. And I'll just make that an even hundred since Tortellini is still really small, so I don't need it to be super big. So, 100 millimeters. And I zoomed out a little farther than I needed to. 
And then I want the other side to be three inches. Because, like I said, he's not a very big tortoise yet. Um, yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to do... Four by five? Yeah, I think four by five is going to be a bit of a, a, a better size. So that he has a little room to grow. So, I'm actually going to do five inches. So that's 127. Oops. Nope, that's not what I wanted either. <laughs> So I'm going to change that to 127, and change this to 100. So now it's perfect, and it's not going to move around, because the dimensions are exact. And you can see I'm clicking and dragging, but nothing is happening, because it's centered on the origin, and the lines are locked into their size. And now, if I decide that I want the base to be longer, I can go, okay, I want this to be 500 millimeters, and it'll be, it'll perfectly redesign, and once I'm like halfway into the design and it's all extruded and there's tons of parts sticking out, changing this will change everything else in relation to it. So, but I want it to be 127. Actually, I think I'm going to do 130 just for a nice even number. So... Alright, so that's the end of this sketch. There you go. And so now, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do an offset plane. And I want it to be offset from the XY plane. And so depending on how tall I want this hide to be, that's how far I'm going to offset this. So I'm thinking, how tall is that? So I'm probably two. so I'm probably looking at three or four inches in height. I'm gonna do three and a half inches and see how that looks. So that is about ninety centi or ninety millimeters. Oof, centimeters would not be good. <laughs> so we'll see how that looks. And I'll go back and change this later. So now I'm going to create another sketch on this offset plane look down from top-down view again and I'm gonna do kind of the same thing I did before with the rectangle and then I'm gonna do the constructor line midpoint to midpoint and center it on the origin and so now you can see this rectangle is also centered on the origin and I want this to kind of go inward, so it's 4x5 at the base, but I want it to be... what do I want it to be? I mean, that much kind of looks good, so let's see about how much that looks like. Please let me do that. Alright, so that looks like it's about... what is that? 4 inches? So I'll go ahead and put that at 100, because that looks good. And this one I'll go ahead and put at 70. And then we will finish that sketch. And so you can see I've got two sketches here, but I haven't done anything with it yet. So what I'm going to do is I could do extrude, but that's just going to extrude it straight up, and that's not going to match this at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loft it, and that's going to change the shape to match, to kind of, uh, well, y you can see here, it goes from the larger plane to the smaller plane. And I do a similar thing with a picture stand that I made one time, because I did something like this, but it was triangular. So uh, for those of you wondering if you're ever going to use trigonometry, if you do 3D modeling, you just might. But, so it's just really simple and you just click OK. So now you've got, so now I've got a little chopped off pyramid. I don't know what to call this shape. Uh, I don't, I don't even remember what this shape is called. The 2D version. What is that? Rhombus? Is that right? Rom, uh, rhombus prism? I, I don't know what to call this. <laughs> but 
now this the faces are angled so that's not really a great um, it, it's it's not good for drawing a sketch on because the sketch is gonna be angled so it's gonna try and cut in at an angle and you don't I don't want that you may want that but I don't so I'm going to um, I'm gonna make my next sketch on the on this plane here and I'm gonna click over here so it actually clicks that plane and I'm gonna look at it from the front so now I'm draw I'm drawing on the um, XZ plane so or XZ depending on what country you live in and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do an offset actually I can't do an offset yet I need to do a projection of the lines here so I can just create this shape and that'll create constructor lines I didn't want to right click there so you can see there's constructor lines in the middle now those are the purple ones so I'm gonna go back to front and I'm gonna offset and the offset you can see just does that and last night what I did is I kinda had a taller roof and I may do the same thing again um, I think I will because tortellini is not that tall well let's do one centimeter yeah I think he can get up that I could also create a little ramp for him or his legs are he, he's strong enough he can get up one centimeter okay so now I've got this drawing inside of my prism. I'm going to finish sketch and I'm gonna do a regular extrude. Nope, that's not the face I wanted to use. I'm gonna extrude. Hmm. Can I hide that? Yes, I can. So I'm gonna click that after hiding that and then re bring that back out. I'm gonna do two sides not symmetric because I'm just gonna pull this one out I don't care how long that is because it's just gonna it's cutting out a face but this one on the other side I want to only go so far so I think 30 is a good amount I'm gonna click OK and uh, you're kind of thinking, ooh, that's going to be kind of weird. That might be a structural problem. So I'm going to fill it. I'm going to fill it that. I'm going to go in and fill it that. And that. And this. And this. And this. And this. And actually, I'm going to cancel that first. Because I want to go back to this sketch here. And I want to uh, create curves. So I'm going to draw little circles. And I'm just gonna copy paste these circles. I want four circles. Okay. Copy paste. Okay. And paste. Okay. And I'm gonna do um, tangential lines. So I want tangent. and it'll just automatically snap which is nice and you can see now that works and what I'm gonna do now is select all of these circles and create and click equal so now if I change the size of one of these circles they all change together which is exactly what I want because I want the curves to be equal on all sides and now I'm gonna dimension one circle because I don't need to dimension them all and I'm gonna go with 20 millimeters because I think that looks like a good curve so I'll finish oh I didn't finish that okay um, I'm gonna go back into the sketch <laughs> and I'm going to trim this part because you can see you still have the curve because it's still got that 
And actually, I may have been able to just do constructor lines. Let's see. Nope, that's not what I want. So yeah, I'm going to trim those. Uh-oh, constraints were removed. I don't know that I care all that much. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to move, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. So now you can see you can see that the extrude hasn't changed at all. So you have to go in and uh, hide the body again. I know what that sounds like. And then deselect these corners here. And the corners can stay. That's not a problem. It doesn't matter. But you want this part to stay. And I want to click OK. Oh, I had to put the bodies back. OK. So now you can see I've got a nice little curved entrance there. And actually, now that I'm looking at it like this, this would look this would be really cute with like a space theme you know, turtles in space or whatever. But now I'm going to go through and I'm going to fillet these. And I guess I'll fillet that too. And we'll try 10 millimeters. Ooh, I don't think that looks very good on the front. That looks kind of weird. Okay, I'm going to try 5. That's not what I wanted. Alright, fill it. Let's try five millimeters. I think that looks much better, so we'll click OK. And you can see the edges of the lines here in the sketch, but when you actually go to print it on the 3D printer, that's not going to show up. Yeah. So that's nice. The way I like that the way it is. Um, I think I'm going to fill it these top corners too. But I'm going to wait until I've got the pegs in there. So I'm going to put pegs up there. Hmm. Actually, what I may do... Hmm. So kind of my goal with this is I've got like stairs on one side and slide on another. And I want them to be, I want it to be modular to make it a little easier to print. I wonder how that top part will print. Because my printer is pretty good, so it should be able to bridge that, no problem. No problem at all. And the sharp edges on the bottom won't hurt him, because those are going to be buried under substrate. And the top edges really shouldn't bother him either, but I'm still gonna I'm gonna go in and chamfer that real quick. Just a teeny bit. I'm gonna do like two millimeters. Yeah, yeah, two millimeters looks good. And that'll be just enough that he won't hurt himself very much. Uh, so there's no corners on it now. And I think actually that I'll go ahead and chamfer the bottom too, just for the just just in case. So I don't want my little turtle to get hurt. Just do two millimeters again. And that'll print no problem either because that's a 45 degree angle and my printer can handle much steeper than that. Um, yeah, so I think that looks good. I think I should probably chamfer the ends too. So I'll go ahead and add those in. I want to select more faces and features, please. You know, I'm. I guess I can't add it, so I'm gonna do a new one. Might as might as well separate them by type anyway. So okay. Um. 
Now I probably should put like rails up here on the sides in case he decides to try and like go off the back or the front because he is like that. He will do that. But I may do that afterward. Why is this highlighted red? Is that just the part? I think that's just the part. It's been a while since I've 3D modeled anything. It's weird that it's... Oh, okay. So, I'm kind of thinking... No, actually, I'm gonna, I am gonna do the pegs on... Um... This part, uh, the 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 on this piece rather than the other pieces, because I think that's going to be easier to 3D model and easier to make modular. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. New sketch, and I'm going to do that on the same plane that I did the uh, hideout sketch on. And so I'll just click front, do two more circles doesn't matter what size they are because I'm going to change that. I'm going to copy, paste it. Okay. I'm going to select both, click equal so that they are the same size. Yep. And then this one, I want to be tangent with that top line. And I need to project it. Okay, hold on. Project. Yeah, let's project that whole face. Yeah, so... Tangent. So it's oh oh no. Okay, so it shouldn't be Why are you not moving? Move. Okay, so I want both of these to kind of be inside now because otherwise it's going to cause another problem like that before. So now I'm going to do tangent with this one again. Tangent, 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 escape, and now the pegs don't need to be particularly strong, um, because Tortellini is not that heavy. He's, he can't, he still can't even press down keyboard keys, because he's so light. So what I'm going to do now is change the size of the circle. Yes. So let's try 10. I think 10 will be okay. And if it's not, I can go back and change it. So now we've got that sketch. So what I'm going to do is click extrude, hide this body, have both of these, and I'm going to show the body again. I'm going to do symmetric this time because I do want them to be equal. So I'm going to pull this out like that. And I think 40 millimeters will actually be pretty good, but I don't want it to cut. I want it to join. 
I want it to be part of this. I want the pegs to show. So, I think that that looks good, actually. And they don't need to come out super far, but I think actually that I'll go for 45. Mm, 43. 42. I think 40 will be an okay starting place. I'll try 43. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so that part... So this piece of the turtle hide should be done, so I'm going to click save. And I should have clicked save sooner, since I'm not entirely sure that this actually auto-saves. <sighs> yeah, fixed it, and now you guys can model it for yourself if you really wanted to. Or, once I get this whole project finished, I'll have an Etsy shop and you can buy it from me. Um, like a finished 3D model. Or a finished 3D part. So I'll be printing these. And they'll be various sizes and at some point Tortellini's gonna grow out of his and I'll have to make him bigger. I may have to make a bigger 3D printer at some point when he gets big enough. I don't know. Or I can just cut this into more parts. Cuz you can do you can do a plain slice. And then I would just have to like super glue it together. Uh speaking of super glue, not all of you know, not all of you are hardcore craft people. Uh super glue can set things on fire if it has a if it has the correct chemical reaction. So be careful about the things you super glue. I believe um, a few years ago in robotics, uh, we super glued eyes to a fabric bunny, and the fabric started to smoke uh, because of the chemical reaction with the super glue. And so it actually got really hot and burned the fabric a little bit. I thought that was really cool. So now that we've saved this, I think I'll save the actual slide and stairs for another time when I can actually talk to people during stream, make it a little e make it a little more interesting. Um, get Dryas in here since Dryas is also a 3D printer. Uh, they 3D print stuff too, and so I think that'll be an interest more interesting thing to watch. Um, I may go ahead and print this actually because. Um, Right now, I have a little crocheted blanket for Tortellini, and um, I can put that in there and he can go ahead and use the hide. I think that would be really cute. I may also just wait until I've got the stairs and slide, though, because then I'll be able to see a little bit better how the things line up, and then I don't have a piece that's useless and just sitting there. So. Uh, have a good rest of your afternoon. I'll be streaming again later, so you can join me again later, or you don't have to join me again at all. I would like to have more people join me later, uh, especially to ask me questions and such. But this has been Turtle Slide Part two, uh, Version 2, or Part 1 Take 2, I don't know. Uh, this is the entire redesign since I couldn't save it last night. So. Like I said, have a good afternoon, and I'll uh, see you around.